Hey uh, YouTube, this is your girl Janelia. I know I've been gone for a very, 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 very long time. Um, but I've been looking and responding sometimes to you guys' um, comments, your videos. I just haven't made any videos. Um, I've been really, really busy. Um, sometimes I don't even pretty much get on the internet or watch TV because I've been so super busy. Um, but I want to thank my old subscribers and my new subscribers. You guys, thank you so much definitely for hanging in there with me. My new subscribers, thanks for subscribing to me when I haven't made a video in forever. Um, I hope my old previous videos have been uh, motivation, inspiring, and encouraging and helpful uh, to you guys. So thank you for subscribing to my page and staying subscribed to my page. Um, I just pretty much I I've been on um a a different journey. God is maturing me, uh, in a whole new way, and I'm in the midst of um fasting and praying for a, a great man in my life so pretty much I've, I, I've been stepping back away from uh, different situations people and those things there to prepare myself to be able to receive my husband when God ever sends him it could be now it could be tomorrow months years uh, but I just want to be prepared with that to, um, but I would try to come back on and make more videos as much as possible that I can um, but I just decided um, from watching a show, um, maybe Black in America on CNN, it could have been some other show I was watching. I'm always watching some type of educational show is at just be educated about the world and, my, and learn myself. So um, they said that it was 45%, I think it was, of African American women um, that are single. They're not married. And it really made me think, you know, um, and look in my life, you know, I'm not saying what's wrong or okay, okay for anyone else's life, but I felt that it was not okay for me uh, to be 30 and not seeking um, the Lord for a husband uh, because I don't want to be in that statistic. So it, I decided that I, I asked God to, to teach me how to be a better woman, to be, become a better wife, and to know how to receive my husband when he shows up, when God places him in my life. And so that's pretty much what I've been doing with traveling and dealing with fibromyalgia and dealing with family and friends issues. Other than that, I've been pretty much taking care of myself in that. Um, I definitely, like I said, I would try to um, make more videos. I want to make more videos because I have so much things that I would like to share with you guys. And you guys have been wonderful me, wonderful to me as long as I've been on YouTube. So um, I definitely want to share the love back to you guys. So I just want to leave you guys and encourage you guys. During the time of chaos in the world, especially in the United States with the oil spill, um, I ask that you guys who do serve the Lord, um, because I don't knock anybody, even if you don't serve the Lord, I still will pray for you. Um, but for those who are believers, you walk it out with God. I encourage you guys to draw closer to God. Um, because sometimes when we're praying, we we want to seek the obvious of things with Christ. And sometimes they don't happen. And it works the same way with the Father. It's sometimes God works out things in our life and we're not focused to see those things because we want to seek the obvious things to know that he's moving within our life and 
everybody's interpretation is different. My interpretation is when in the Bible when Jesus Christ got crucified, God didn't say anything. During the time of Jesus suffering, he didn't say a word about anything pertaining to his son on the cross. Uh, during his baptism on the mountain, God spoke. He let it be known that he was present. But during the time of Jesus, Christ, uh, Jesus Christ's crucifixion, he didn't say anything. But he did so much from the earthquake, splitting the temple in half. Sometimes God do does things and move within our life, and we just are looking for the ox. We're lo we 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 looking for him to let us know he showed up. If we just take a step back and look in our life, we will see that God is present. So I encourage you guys, I, I will support, motivate you guys to take a step back and evaluate uh, your life. And if you feel that you're not closer to God or you tired of praying because uh, he's not answering you, sometimes he's not going to answer us. Um, that's the simple truth. He's not. He's not going to answer. He's just going to do it. And we have to stay focused to know that God has already done it and that he will continue to do it. Um, times are hard and it's craziness in the world. So just be of good cheer because you're not made to bend. You're not made to break. And God has already took care of your problem. Just shout to the heaven and thank God every day. You guys have a wonderful Sunday and I hope to you guys will be watching me soon on another video. Bye.